Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I forgot a couple of stuff that people pointed out to me and I remember offhand partially where they are. So <laughs> let's take a peek see around here. First there's Brintilda around here. So, ah, there it goes because I didn't come over to this side here. Alright. It's kind of like a Rabbit's foot, I guess. <laughs> Only more mythical. Well, maybe even she gets scared of stuff in her closet. <laughs> and... Lardmaster 2000 Broomstick. Okay. Now there's a couple of Mumbo tokens that I forgot. First is... What? <laughs> First is over here, which I don't really even have to do any cuts for. I just go back over to Mad Monster Mansion here, and oh, oh I'm still not in Talon Trot mode, that is sad. <laughs> and now I'm gonna plop over in here. Now over in Ye Old Fireplace, because, well, now I don't have to do anything on the table, I don't have to focus away from it. Yeah, I missed a mumbo token behind here, it's pretty well hidden, so... Yeah, uh, uh. Uh, uh, hold on, do I have to do... Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> Alright, now there's another mumbo token, but it is back in Gruntilda's lair. Namely, the rusty bucket bay area, you know, the entrance area, so I'll see you over there. Whee! Alright, so over here... Somewhere, <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly, and I just forgot to grab it. It's in this corner down way way down in here So let's see if I am correct. Yeah, it is here I think I missed those mumble tokens on other playthroughs too and by the way, I've got over 25 So I am well beyond what I need to get in this game to finish it anyway well, maybe not well beyond but Pretty, pretty far beyond, <laughs> because I'm pretty far ahead of the mumble token curve and whatnot, so yeah. So back in this room, there's another thingy that I forgot that's apparently behind the eel click clock woods entrance. But, 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 it is... Yeah, um, it's kind of tricky to get here. I thought it was somewhere like... Eh, but there's a hole. Believe me, there's a hole. <laughs> Just hold on, I'll find it. <laughs> I forgot where it is, though. Oh, oh, oh. Hear that? Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Yeah. <laughs> So actually, I'm supposed to be aiming this, this way, and, uh, oh, well, that's not, hmm, hmm, I was told it was behind the stump, it was over here, and, hmm, 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 <laughs> oh, it wasn't behind that stump, they talk, the person was talking about over here, that's right, yes, I can't believe I forgot about this, but yeah, there's a, a looping pathway that goes from there all the way to up here, which makes getting back here very quickly. But yeah, I can't believe I forgot to get that earlier. <laughs> anyway, World 9 time. And uh, some people think it's harder than Rusty Bucket Bay. I personally don't think so, because... Though that's likely because I'm a good platformer, but Click Clock Wood here is basically fall damage the world. <laughs> that's how it rolls. And I'm gonna show you something here before I start. First, there is a golden feather underneath there if you'd like to know, but first I'm gonna grab one note and then exit the world. Because I never really showed you the dialogue that Bottles gives you when you beat your best note score, because I've been constantly beating the world without any ire whatsoever. So yeah, he's gonna say best is now one. Yeah, <laughs> very, very simple, of course. And uh, now, 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 I'm gonna grab this, because I used a couple to get, to, to get back over there. I'm gonna grab these. Now, as you'll probably notice, there's something above the door there, and there's Bottles' dialogue. <laughs> 
So there is that symbol there, and there's this symbol over here. There's a little snowflake. There's a cup. There's a little leaf over here on top of that door. I think I think you see where this is going here. There's a season for every version of this world, and it's probably going to take me four parts to do as a result of that, because it's kind of tricky to get around this world, but there's the summer one, and yeah. So let's start the spring one, which will probably take the longest out of all of them, probably, maybe, we'll, we shall see. Because we're going to be doing the spring one in double mode here, and there is... A Grublin Hood. Yes, a Grublin Hood. Very easy enemy, but yeah, I just like that Robin Hood reference with the Grublin, and yeah, you get what I'm saying here. And got some beehives, and also got some snare bears here. Um, yeah, it's probably not safe to get in there unless you have the Wonder Wing. <laughs> There's another way of doing that without the Wonder Wing, though. Um, there are these little leaves that you can potentially scale, but they're pretty difficult to actually scale with unless you're a really good platformer. So let's just say we're not going to use them on the spring version of here, <laughs> yeah, but they grow out in later versions of this, you know, in summer and fall, but of course not in winter where there's no leaves or anything like that. But anyway, I'm going to start by going flopping over here, and you probably know this little big clucker enemy popping out of the holes that probably reminds you of the Chompas. Yeah, it's basically another Chompa reskin, only there's a lot of these big cluckers around here. Hello. <laughs> and uh, by the way, you should be looking to get 16 notes on the spring side here, bringing your note total up to 20. Just keep that in mind, just look around as thoroughly as you possibly can to get all the notes that you can here, and then you will be a happy camper. Got it? Good. Alright, now I'm gonna go flop over to here. Now you're gonna notice that there's kinda a bunch of bare ground except for a hole in the center there. Well, if you put some eggs in there, you can grow yourself an eggplant. Oh yes! Oh, I had to make that pun. Oh, it's five, isn't it? Isn't it? Five? No. Boot. There we go, there we go. <laughs> so that's the start of a little thing that continues on throughout the seasons. Let's just put it out that way. We gotta come up and over there on other seasons. Got it, go uh, got it, good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go and flop over here. I'm gonna leave that for later, actually. I, I really don't need any more mumbo tokens. I just wanna get this little bit of dialogue going on here. Oh no, Boulder is blocking Naughty's house! I think that's that might very well be Naughty from uh, the Donkey Kong Country series. You know, given the whole purple coloration, like the Naughty second battle and whatnot, you know, from the first game. But uh, maybe, maybe, I'm not really positive about that, but it could be. <laughs> anyway, now I'm gonna go up and around this way. I'm just kinda zigzagging up and down and around the tree roots and stuff like that to make my route around here. I need to find three more notes. Oh! Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> I just wanted the golden feather more than anything, really. Hey, how's it going? Not good, apparently. <laughs> and uh, now, down over here, I should probably kill this before I forget. Oh! That didn't work out well. <laughs> I'm just getting chomped on by everything. Down over here, there is a mumbo token that you can get. Well, if you want to, because you should be overflowing with mumbo tokens by now, I would think, if you were following along. Yes, yes. Anyway, I'm gonna go up and flop over into Mumbo's hut over here just to show you something. I'm not actually gonna transform yet, but I can actually transform. Um, over here, he's napping. He's having a good time, but I'm gonna go and head over to the roof as per you the usual search out the edges. Uh, I thought there was more than just eggs up here. I might be thinking of the fall one though. I think the fall one has the no- Oh, oh of course, I, the, the place that I dropped down happens to be where the fire is. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm not gonna transform until I'm ready to leave that particular, this particular season. 
And uh, anyway, to get out of here... Uh, oh, actually, I should show you this too. Uh, well, I'll do it when I get to the other side, because it's just a little bit faster doing that. Uh, these are thorns, and that's why you need these boots. <laughs> yeah. It's another ground hazard. <laughs> and now, I'm gonna go get the remainder of the notes, I think are over here. Right, 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 yes. There we go, we're up to 20. Now we are note free, and we can look around for other stuff on the upper areas. And here's a really tricky platforming area if you really dare to go across that. But I don't actually think it's... Pff, yeah, I don't think it's really possible to actually go up there thusly. So, yeah. Um, you know what I should actually do? I should get myself some health. <laughs> some health. So hold on a sec before I go up on the upper area. Um, how did I manage to do that? No. Um, no, not that tough. Well, <laughs> that's uh, that's sad because now I gotta recollect my notes. <laughs> but at least I got full. Taking that much damage on. Uh, such an easy part of the area is just totally careless on my part, and I deserve that death, really. <laughs> anyway, I got my 20 notes back. Although the enemies and stuff respawned and whatnot, I just kind of left them. Um, is this worth going out on these branches? I guess if you need a mumbo token. But yeah, don't touch the snare bears, because they hurt. And they're effectively invincible until winter, let's just put it that way. So we're gonna have to leave them be. Unless you want to uh, sort of kind of use a lot of golden feathers to get through them and whatnot, but I don't think you want to do that. Uh, over here is a large beehive, but we can't actually do anything about that. Uh, there's a little entrance hole over there, which uh, is sort of kind of a hint to something something in the future. Let's just put it that way. Yes, yes. Anyway, let's keep going up. <laughs> uh, I like to yeah zip the yeah, that's a good angle right there. I want to zip the camera around to the right angle so that I can make these jumps the best I possibly can. And there we go. Now, over here is a hut in progress to be completed. There's also a mumbo token over here. There will be a jiggy in summer and fall at the back left corner of it, but it's easiest to get in the fall. So that's probably when I'm going to get it, but it's possible to do in the summer, though it's pretty tricky because of an awkward camera angle and whatnot. Oh, oh, I landed on the beehive. There's a shock spring jump pad there if you need it to get back. As you can tell, these uh, platforms seem a little, little bit unfinished. Yes, well, let's just say they'll be a little more flushed out in later seasons. Speaking of later seasons, here's the switch to open up the summer. Oh yeah! Behold! The summer door opens! And in the summer door there's the fall switch, and in the fall door there is the winter switch. So that's pretty much how this world works. Oh yeah, you can also go in this uh, home of nab not two ways. Hey, how's it going there? Mmm, delicious nuts. Mmm. <laughs> uh, you should probably save them for winter. Or you might regret it, just saying. And yeah, that's what I meant about the uh, whole mumbo token thing, me being pretty far ahead of the curve. Because look how many I have now already, and yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of wide jumps here. Careful not to land on the slopes, of course. Now over here, we're going to start another seasonal, I should say multi-seasonal quest of sorts, just like that plant way, way back at the beginning. Uh, I, I hit the axe, you you totally seen me hit the axe. <laughs> so there's Eerie, the mighty eagle baby. Well, maybe not that mighty for now, but it's sleeping, but for the future. For the future, remember Eerie, and remember that we gotta give him some treats. Oh, uh, I don't know if I should get this now. Uh, there's a jiggy that you can get if you can if you climb up all these incredibly treacherous platforms way up above the ground. But uh, I'm not too confident about doing that, so we'll see if I can do it. But it's probably better off getting this in fall, where this is more built, rather than spring. <laughs> But I am- Oh no 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 no! 
that's what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, I'll come up there on another season because it's pretty tricky to actually get up there. Um, but now I would, what I'd like to do is get down here safely to get over to Mumbo. I think Mumbo's is accessible from over here relatively easily. Yes. Uh, careful, careful. Oh yeah, I decided to do that. <laughs> okay, so yeah, now I'm gonna do the transformation and finish off the remainder of this segment of it. Uh, uh. I pressed the B button. You see me to press the B button because I did my claw swipe. <laughs> so there we go, I'm now a bumblebee! <laughs> but strangely, you have no attacks again. Not even a stinger. Maybe your shorts cover it up. But anyway, as usual, when you're in a transformed state, you are immune to ground hazards. And now you've got unlimited flight! Yay! And this is the way to also get the stuff in like the snare bears and stuff like that. Because the snare bears, for some reason, do not bite anything but the bear. I guess- OH! <laughs> because, yeah, the, uh, they're only interested in nibbling on a bear, I guess, since the name's Snare Bears. And I am going to try and get in here, there we go, because there's a little something-something. Hey, how's it going? Hi! Nice to meet you, Zubba's fellow bees. Well, actually, I think they're hornets, but they have a golden- Ooh! Ooh! Hmm, but there's a honey bear. I wonder who they're referring to. Maybe Banjo, perhaps? Well, anyway, I didn't come in here for a Jiggy, because I can't get it this season. I came in here for a Jinjo, which I have to get this season. By the way, the Jinjos of this world match the colors of each season. Like, you'll see the uh, flowery and, I should say, foliagey ones are in the spring and in the summer you got. Well, you'll see when I get there. <laughs> I shouldn't spoil the colors. Uh, I'll just get out of here, and it's very, very tricky to fly as a bumblebee for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it is. <laughs> but it's okay, because it's not really that big of a deal, uh, wandering around as said bumblebee, because, well, what's gonna hurt you as a bumblebee up in the air? <laughs> anyway, now what I like to do is go all the way up here. This is the place that I was platforming to, and then I fell off of. Hence the name Fall Damage the World, because over here you need to use the beak barge to get in there or what or whatever move you want to use. And yeah, that's what I came up off of. But it's it's real rather annoying to get up here in the spring, so I just decided to come up here as a bee to get up, get that Jinjo there safely. And by the way, no fall damage happens in your bee too. It's kind of weird, <laughs> or I should say any transformation in general. Alright, I'll just grab this Mumbo token as well as a 1-up over here. Yeah, I guess I might as well, because, you know, just for the sake of grabbing stuff. See, the snare bears don't mind the bees being on them, it's the bears that they mind. <laughs> Alright, it looks like I am done with spring. So... With that, I think I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my trek through the world. Well, I should say worlds. 